What is up, y'all? Welcome to our first little Let's Play, or uh, let's take a look at a game called Tharsis. Maybe some of you guys have seen other Let's Players play this and everything. Um, it's basically like kind of like a board game, but put into a digital format. Um, it is the creators of Choice Provisions. Uh, it is basically a game that's um, you're you're a space crew traveling to Mars, and a whole bunch of catastrophes happen, and you have to like manage your crew um, in the best way possible using dice to um, take care of like any type of problems and everything like that like and you will we'll get into it and so we, what you do is we can start a new game I, I will in a second um, this is only f for ten dollars right now on Steam so it's actually a pretty good find um, considering that there will be missions missions and stuff added later and right now it's ten dollars so it's on sale it's gonna be fifteen bucks after the sales over with but since it's still in kind of early access and just being tested and stuff it only has one mode right now and that's just the whatever travel to Mars and hopefully you get there um, it has a great I think the storyline is really good but it's, it's right now it's very linear it's only one story um, and it's still a good story though and I find the game to be pretty entertaining and also the achievements you do get do actually mean something in the game which is kind of nice and so let's start a new game um, I'll show you what all these things mean about these people so now you get a choice of which characters you want to take with you and now I've unlocked these bottom guys are locked when you first start you unlock them as you uh, do achievements either by repairing the ship so much um, doing doing different deals like that and we'll show you kind of how that works and each one of uh, each one of these people doctor specialists have special abilities um, normally these abilities are activated by rolling a five or higher and then using one of your dice and and we'll get into the dice play and we'll show you how that works but uh, like uh, the doctor gets plum, plus one health to crew in the module and I'll show you what these modules look like in a bit uh, the specialist gets plus one reroll normally everybody gets two uh, rolls meaning you can roll some dice and then use up some dice but if there's some dice you want to reroll kind of like a Yahtzee type of uh, um, way well the specialist gets a, a plus one reroll on that mechanic if he rolls like a five or better um, he can uh, get plus one to the ship um, a captain can get plus one die to crew members inside that module uh, and then a lot of these you know are self-explanatory now stress is another thing you have to worry about in this game as your stress continues to get worse from what it looks like it, it well from what everybody said it only affects like your choices and I'll show you what choices are yeah after you finish a turn you uh, get a chance to do choices and choices uh, tend to be affected by how much stress everybody has but I also think that um, increased stress probably affects the the severity of your next um, uh, round of bad things that happen you know the, the next instance everything your next turn and everything and we'll show you how that kind of works I'm not for sure if that does or not but I always I've been playing that way and it seems to be working really well for me uh, the commander uh, he gets plus he gets four repair now he all he has to roll is a one or above and he can get four repair in a module which is kind of nice uh, the pilot ignores movement damage a lot of people will say that it's not that important but actually you end up having to go past a lot of damage spots and uh, and and you end up taking a lot of health damage um, technician gets plus two assists which assists are very very useful and I actually kind of like to get rid of the specialist for the technician um, mainly because the, the assists actually can be very very helpful um, and I'll show you the reasons why so then we'll go ahead and start this and then we'll give a little like tutorial it, it, not even we're not doing tutorial but it'll give you like a little gist of what the game's about for every disaster for every disaster not all of them at once we can't turn back but how can we go on so it's a very dark and dreary type thing so here's the events that i was talking about so now we have an event with uh, 14 okay now it says update a cluster of micro asteroids have crippled the uh, Iktomi which is the ship that we're on and killed two crew members so you lose two crew members right at the very beginning now granted you just start with four crew members but it's just telling you you lost two one was injected into space and then Mapilla uh, Musgrave suffered a fatal injury so he's still on the ship and dead and that's important for us to know later on you'll see what happens here um, and our goal is to survive of course so now the top bar here this is a deploy crew on the very top if you see the little blinking um, and, and there's a white dot on the left and red dot on, on the right 
Well, that's going to move. Every turn, it moves a little bit closer. And the red dot, is, of course, is Mars. And once we get to Mars, we have to get to the front module of this um, of this dealio to actually uh, lift off and go back to space. I mean, go back to go to Mars and everything, so we can survive uh, the the trip at least. All right. So let's first start off with talking about um, how this crew is set up. Okay. So this is Joy Lee. Joy Lee, if you look on the right hand side of her, she has two uh, bars and, that are full right now, but she can have more bars there. That's her health. She, you can have up to um, six health, and right now she has two health. Her stress is on the left hand side, that's a bar. As that increases, the stress increases and they get really stressed out. And it can max out once it hits the top, um, which can cause some really bad decisions and choices and stuff like that. Um, the other thing is, is uh, the white dots that are underneath her pitcher is basically the amount of dice she has to roll. And that's really useful to know that. And you start losing dice. Dice, uh, every time you play a one round, you lose one dice. Uh, dice can only be recovered either through food or there's these bottom uh, dealio things here, these researches. And we'll get into what the research is all about. Like you get duct, you know, here's a research, duct tape choices and what you do is you put in well we'll get into that but you put in your dice into research and you get a point for every dice that's in research up to six points being six you know six numbers and then you can use up one of these things like duct tape uh choices harvest um things like that and everything so you can do that so that'd be like plus one food there another way to replenish dice and we'll take a look at the ship real quick now this is the ship layout if you look, uh, there's laboratory, it increases your amount of assists. Assists basically block bad things that can happen um, with your dice rolls. And uh, we'll sh I'll show you what, what type of bad things can happen. A medical bay, it recovers your health. So if you get like a five or higher, you can put it in the medical bay. And whoever, the person that put that in there in that medical bay gets all their health replenished. Uh, maintenance is ship repair as you get five or uh, actually this is a pairs if you get pairs in the maintenance uh, area you get um, you can get ship repair done uh, there's operations which, which reduces the stress for the one crew member life support is uh, something I like to utilize to get my dice back anytime uh, you can basically put dice in life support and it will give you two dice back so putting one die in gives you two back um, greenhouse is that's where you make some more food which is important too and then the flight control just prevents you from having movement damage um, and we'll show you what movement damage is here in a bit all right so let's go ahead and start this off so if we take a look on the left hand side in the flight control there's a 14 damage meaning I got to get 14 points into this to actually fix this the little red bar at the bottom is the damage it's gonna do to the ship and as you can see on the top left hand uh, corner we have three bars of ship and right now we're going to take three damage so we do got to repair the ship as much as possible right now um with a 14 i'm i'm actually half tempted to actually put the doctor and try to take care of this 14 with the doctor and maybe the captain or something if you look at the doctor only has three dice the captain has one dice so i think this is going to be the best route to go let's go ahead and deploy into there so now you get this little cut frame of now the doctor's in here and he's trying to work in the flight control now I'm going to hit a roll. I have one assist right now. So if I hit, if you look at, it at the top, there's a stasis, ones and twos. Stasis prevents me from re-rolling that dice. You can use that dice, um, but uh, it just prevents you from re-rolling it. So that's, that's something to, to think about. I'm going to go back for a second because this one, if we go take a look at this one, this has the same thing. It's stasis, twos and threes, stasis, two damage. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try this out. Let's deploy and let's roll our dice. All right, we got a lot of stasis there, which sucks. That totally sucks, guys, because now we have to think about what are we going to do with all this? Well, personally, uh, since we're not going to be able to repair this, unfortunately, I like to just go ahead and put some, start putting some stuff in repair um, now uh, into the research down here. So as I put one point in here, I can use duct tape, which is actually I kind of want to do that right now. That's going to take care of three repair right off the get-go. That's pretty good. Anything. So that gives my one as something it could do. Now I'm going to re-roll this other one and hopefully not get a two. <laughs> Which of course I did. <laughs> so we can use this two into the repair. And I'm going to put that up here and you pick it up and put it in there. And there we go. So we're down to nine in this, uh, in this pod. Nine kind of sucks. Not really where I want to be at right now. Because now I can't just put the captain in here. The best roll he can get is a six. Not that great. 
Um, we do want to take care of this nine, at least so then we can survive. Um, but right now it's looking like I'm going to have some bad decisions here to make here pretty soon. Um, I think I'm going to go with the mechanic into here. And let's see if we can take care of this problem. Let's get a nine. Come on. Some better dice, man. That's what we need. All right. We got another stasis. Kind of sucks. Um, I do want to just repair this, but we, I also want to get plus one ship, but I ain't going to get it this time, I guess. Oh, well. Um, and then I'm going to reshuffle because I don't really, well, I like the choice harvest though. The plus one food is nice. So I guess we're finished. We can't use this dice anywhere else. Not there, not here. And we can't hold the dice. Uh, holding dice just gives you, oh, I have one more roll, but it doesn't matter. Remember I have stasis. So that's done with that. Let's leave this module. All right. All right, it's looking grim, but we are going to survive now at least. But now it's the technician's turn to actually get in here. And who knows? If she start, rolls a lot of sixes, we might be set. But even with the stasis, I can repair the ship up a lot. Oh, okay, well, fives are good too. But I'm not going to be able to repair the ship all the way. So in this instance, I think what I'm going to do is go for ship repair. And we're going to get two bars of ship. That's going to give us two more ship. That's pretty good and everything. So now we're, we're not in danger of the ship exploding, but we still have this problem that we have to deal with, which isn't great and it isn't awesome. But the other thing I wanted to do is get more food. See, now I can get this choice as harvest. That's going to add to my food count. And now I have two food. Every food you get at the end of the turn, they'll give you a, a choice of who do you want to give food to. And uh, food restores three dice to a person so that's pretty good so I'm all right with that we're not gonna get much repair in here and we do have the captain still we can put out but I what I want to do with the captain and this is gonna you're gonna be like well what are you gonna do with the captain he has one dice it's like it's nothing right I mean and everybody's pretty low on dice so let's give a chance for him to just get some more dice and what's cool about the life support is all I have to do is put one die in here it doesn't matter the uh, number if I wanted to have more dice you have to have the doubles and stuff but you can put one dice in here and I'm going to get two dice back. That's perfect. That's fine with me. Just throw it in there. Um, give him some dice. And so now everybody's going to be a little bit better for the next turn. And you have to make these determinations in this game. Because this game is difficult, guys. It's You're meant to lose most of the time. You're going to lose a lot. But if I can't lead them, we're all dead. I need to get it together. So it's grim. And here's the choices I was talking about. And this is affected by your stress. All right, choose a side project to perform, but be aware it may have negative consequences. The severity of the choices are influenced by the stress of the crew. So keep them mentally healthy. All right, so now what we can do, we can go plus one health to all crew and we get minus one dice. Well, losing dice sucks and I'm not gonna, I'm not really feel like doing that. Right now we have three ship. This is a very bad choice, but I think it's the choice we have to take this time. Um, maybe we might die right off, who knows. Uh, minus two ship is pretty harsh, for, but you get plus one dice for everyone, and that's pretty good, actually. We do have uh, two food, and that's something we could think about. I mean, uh, two food actually might be able to save us, but it puts being minus one dice on everyone is a harsh pun penalty. So let's go with the plus one dice. All right, now we got some food. Um, and I really would like to put some food in the mechanic because I think we're going to have to do uh, some ship bonus stuff here pretty soon. And normally, uh, I'm only getting two dice out of this, so I'm not getting a huge amount. But I have an extra problem right now on the ship and everything that I have to deal with because we're going to get new events right now. And they stack. Everything stacks. So who else is going to be uh, really important for this? Well, actually the technician. And I'll tell you why. Those assists that she can make can make a huge difference for you. All right, so now we have two more problems. We die if we don't take care of uh, the damage, but also the minus one dice kind of sucks, but we need to t start taking care of these problems. Uh, the first, now we have new dice problems, like over here by the 14, if you take a look at this. Oh, this is the movement damage. So I picked Joy Lee, and if I move her into this uh, module up here, she will take minus one health because she has to go through uh, one damage, uh, well, one damaged area. Anytime you go through a damaged area, you take uh, minus one health. So if she goes in here, now we have these. Uh, we have a stasis with a three die, a three die stasis, and this two is actually a void die. A void. If I roll a two, it, it, it basically destroys the die. So then I, well, you get to keep it afterwards, but it, it basically uh, you can't use the twos. So it's worse than uh, than stasis. All right. So who are we gonna? How are we gonna deal with this? Well, first off. I would like to send the captain into, 
I don't know. Let's see. In the, into the laboratory. I'm gonna have to remember the names of these places. If I send the captain in there, he has three dice. Um, it possibly could be it could be a fix right there, but that's pretty harsh. I think I might send the mechanic in there, and then hopefully we can fix this right now. Come on, I just need a 14. Oh, the twos are bad. Oh, we got the assist on that. That's pretty good. So we can take care of the problem now. That's pretty good. Um, but then we're not. We're kind of left in a bad position. I kind of yeah. We got to take care of this problem. We definitely got to take care of the problem. So how are we gonna do it? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're just we'll just use the stasis die and then we'll use the one here. Now we're gonna reroll this hopefully for a five or a six. Oh, we got a five. All right. So what do we want? Do we want assists or do we want a plus one ship? I mean, with plus one ship will be really nice for us right now. Um, but I think the assists are going to help us out. This is going to fill up my assists. And I think it's taking a chance, but I like to take chances, man. I think that should take care of it, making it easier for the technician to actually fix this uh, meteor strike in the engineering bay here. Because now we're going to get a lot of assists. We can re-roll a lot of these stasises. Oh my god, look at how many stasises we got. Used up almost all, every one of our assists. Now, because I got so many twos, I think I'm just going to go into ship repair. Just so we know we're, we're guaranteed to survive now. Oh wait, ah oh, shoot, I didn't want to use that other two. I messed up that one. I shouldn't have, I guess I could just really repair the ship now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just repair up the ship as much as possible. Man, look at all these stasis, man. She cannot roll anything right now. It really sucks. All right, well, we're just gonna go ahead and put that into repair. Now we're down to 18. Um, the minus one dice to all, I unfortunately feel like we're gonna end up suffering that no matter what we do. I really want to get in there and repay, repair this maintenance bay. Okay, let's go ahead and roll. Come on, man, no stasis, man. I'm getting tired of this. Look at all those stasis. Okay, it's all going in here. It's all going in here. We're gonna lose minus one dice next turn. Ugh. This sucks. All right, we're we gotta repair this, guys. It, it just got to happen. Um, we'll figure out what to do about the food situation and getting more rerolls or getting more dice afterwards. We just have to repair this. Okay, thank God we can repair this. Okay, it is repaired. Now let's roll, and we got a five. We get plus one health for everyone in the module. There's three people in here. That's great. Everyone gets plus one health. Sweet. All right, now we get uh, the impending damage, which is a minus one dice to everybody. That sucked. Now we have a lot of people that need dice. I let my fear get the better of me, but the others have proven me wrong. I'm proud of how the crew has come together. I think we might actually have a chance. Yeah, that, I don't know if she's speaking, you know, it's a little too early, I think. Okay, now we got some uh, interesting things. We could take minus two ship and get plus one dice for everyone. That could be really useful and actually a lot more helpful. Um, or we get plus one food and my and plus 30 stress for these two only these two only for Kayla and Pakal well Their stress isn't awful yet, but I hate building stress uh, And I think our ship is actually looking pretty decent right now So I'm gonna go with the plus one dice for everyone and then the minus two ship um, That's gonna give us four dice instead of three dice, uh, but we get minus one ship So it's one less dice. Let me think about that Hmm. Well, it's going to be one more dice this way, but we take one extra. We're taking two ship damage just for one die. It's not really that great of a trade, and maybe I'll go with the stress. I don't normally do this, but I think I'll just go with the stress just so we have some food and then we can get some more dice here. Uh, who's going to be the most important? The captain? Well, I think so because I can get more dice with the captain. That's his special ability. So let's go that way. And with the doctor, we can put into life support to get more dice that way. All right, now we got some problems. As you can see, man, this the, it gets worse and worse as the, as everything stacks up. So first off, I think if I put the mechanic, well, I would like to move my guy and take care of this uh, fire, the CDA fire. That would be great to get rid of. But if you look at the, it's a four, five, and six voids. That sucks. But if you look at our research project, we have one that says prevent void. Well, we might be able to do this. And, and that's probably going to be the only way we can fix that CDA fire. I don't think there's any other way. So let's first start with um, the technician. Now let's start with the mechanic. 
in the SSU voltage uh, thing. And let's see if we can repair this. Come on. Man, I'm getting a lot of... Ugh. That took, away, that took away one of our assists. I'm going to use the six in repair, and then I'm just going to re-roll. I think that's the, our best option right now. Come on. Come on. Ah. Ah, oh, man. This is just such bad rolls. Um, In this scenario, because we're going to go with this uh, prevent void, I'm going to go ahead and take two points in there. And then we'll put one more person in here. We can just survive if we do, even if we just fix this one. Uh, I think the next person I want to put in here is the technician. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with the technician. Alright, come on. You know you can fix this. Ah, That's not the best roll in the world, is it? Mm. Alright, um, let's go with a 5 and a 3 here. And then I'm actually going to put this 3 in research. And hopefully we can get rid of this void stuff. Ah. Okay, we're going to put the doctor in here. All he has to roll is a one. <laughs> we'll probably get a two. Oh, my God. Ah, I want to do the prevent void so bad. Oh, well. All right, so now we are going to survive, though. Our last person we have available is the captain. Well, I think what I'm going to do is try to fix this minus one dice to everyone. I don't know. And then hopefully uh, do the void, uh, prevent void the next turn. Then we can take care of the CDA fire. We're going to take a lot of damage. I don't think there's really any way to avoid it. But I think this is the best route because we need our dice. And I just can't, we can't keep going this way. Losing one die, an extra die every turn. Wow. That was by far the worst roll I think I've ever had in my life. Holy freaking A, man. That sucks. Evil ones and twos. That's how this game can screw you guys. But at least now we can prevent void next turn. Um, there's nothing else I can really do. I'll just put this stuff in repair. I wasn't going to get it repaired with the uh, with the dice I got. But we are going to survive. But we take the minus one dice and we take it. So this is, this is awful. We just lost a crap load of dice. We have no food right now. But there is a way around that, guys. Check your food stores and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module. Mm -hmm. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach Mars. All right, so we can get plus two assists. Bah. This guy is basically, uh, he's going to cut off his fingers or, you know, he's going to give us a leg. He said, hey, here's plus one food, but minus two health for me. Yeah, so this guy is basically giving up himself a little bit. But he does have a lot of health, so that actually is uh, something maybe we should think about. We can get plus one ship, and uh, plus, uh, but it gets stressed for all the crew. Or we can get plus two assists. I'm going to go with the food. We need, we need dice right now. So let's go ahead and hit up. Okay, here's the new thing we can do right now. Cannibalism. Cannibalism, every time they eat it, gives you plus two dice. But they get majorly stressed out. So you got to be careful which people you want to give uh, a cannibalized food to. And uh, I am going to use it because we're, we're in dire needs right now. We'll go with him. And we're going with the least stressed people. And it's going to bring their stress up pretty high. It also takes away one of their max health. It doesn't take away one of their health, but their max health. So their max health is only five at the moment. I also going to use uh, the food on the mechanic. That'll give us three dice there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and forget it, man. We're going to go max stress, man. We're going. And also, you can kill a person if you want and then eat them. But we're not going to do that. All right. Let's go on. Let's see what, get, what new events we got. But it's, I don't think we're going to win this one, guys. This one's looking pretty grim. But we'll see. We'll see if we do. It'd be nice if we did. Um, But we have a lot to do here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the prevent void. Um, we can also do 17 repair in one module. Which would pretty much cure not really any of them. They're at 18s, which kind of sucks. I think Prevent Void would probably be better. But we only have one module. It's that CDA fire. It's really screwing us, man. Hmm. Well, how do we go about this? Uh, technician to take care of the 18. Three dice is not enough. And this uh, health problem in here. So you have these red dies. If I roll twos, I take one health damage. And that could be rough. I do have one assist. You start off with at least one assist every turn. And I think I'm going to try to go and fix this. This minus one health to all. I don't know if this is the right choice. But I want to see if I can take care of it. Alright, so we got one six. I'm going to re-roll again. Come on, man. Give me some sixes. Gosh. Oh. Alright. That took care of one of our assists, unfortunately. And I think we'll just throw it all in here. There's nothing else we can do. Alright. 
So we can't even fix this, and, and, and now we have a crap load of damage. I need to fix all the damage pods in order to survive this right now. And I don't think I can. Let's see. One, two. Well, we got three, and we have three people up. We can do it. It's going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt, man. I think I still have to go with the prevent void. And then we'll go with uh, the captain in here. He has to fix this. If he doesn't fix this, we're screwed. We're dead. It, it, it's dead time. All right. So there's 10. Come on, man. We just need need a six and a two or something like that. Oh, my God. Okay. So far, we're lucky. We're lucky. We got one fix. All right. Oh, these other ones are going to be rough, man. Um, six and two. And they both have the same health and, the, and they're both going to have the same problems. All right, let's send the technician up here. Three dice for 18. I think we lost, guys. Um, is there any way we can do this? Yeah, there is, actually. We're going to take the damage. Yeah, we'll take, do that. We don't know if she's going to. She might die right now. The twos will kill her. Yeah, there's one two. That sucked. All right. Um, right. I'm thinking four will be good enough. And then we're going to throw a two in research. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to try to do right here. I'm going to take now the mechanic, right? Oh, no, the doctor. I'm going to throw her in here. And then this should take care of it. I'm hoping we, we finish this. Oh, my God. Woo, okay, we finished it. Okay, that's another one. And then we're going to put one dice into research. Oh, this is going to be close. So we can do 17 repair to a module if we get two more dice. No! Oh, no! I messed up. I messed up. I thought we had one more guy. We didn't. That was it! So there we go. <laughs> Iktomi has uh, exploded. So that's pretty typical. Um, we'll do a couple more runs of this if you guys find this game to be interesting. Um, and less of a, a let's look at type of thing. Uh, like I said, this game is available on Steam for $10 at the moment. It is early access. Um, I do enjoy it. I think it's fun. And I think there's a lot of replay value to it. Because uh, it... it you just keep doing this over and over again, and if you do actually like uh, dice games and things like that, this game's actually very creative in, in its way of dealing with things. And, and it's very, it is hard. I was on normal difficulty on that, and uh, you can go up to hardcore, and uh, that's insane, man, the, the type of problems you get. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see further. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.